Iranian officials are claiming they have developed a hypersonic missile that is unstoppable by all current anti-air defenses. According to General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the Revolutionary Guard's aerospace commander, Tehran is now in possession of a ballistic missile that moves at high speed and can maneuver in and out of the atmosphere. Speaking of the new weapon on Thursday, General Hajizadeh said the missile's capabilities would make it unstoppable. He added, This missile has a high speed and can maneuver in and out of the atmosphere. It will target the enemy's advanced anti-missile systems and is a big generational leap in the field of missiles, he said. The missile is designed to target enemy anti-air systems and has been described as a generational leap forward in terms of Tehran's military technology. Iran has not publicly acknowledged working on such a weapon before now, with only Russia known to possess hypersonic technology. China was thought to have tested a similar weapon last year, with the US also in a testing phase. While North Korea had shown off what appeared to be hypersonic missiles at military parades, it was not clear whether its technology was functional. While the term hypersonic is loosely defined, hypersonic missiles are broadly categorized as having the ability to fly at least five times faster than the speed of sound. They are also typically on a complex trajectory, making them difficult to intercept. In spite of Iran's claims, there have been no reports of such a missile being tested. Further to this, while the Islamic Republic has developed a large domestic arms industry in the face of international sanctions and embargoes, Western military analysts have previously said Iran sometimes exaggerates its weapons capabilities. Concerns over Iran's ballistic missiles contributed to a U.S. decision in 2018 under Donald Trump's presidency to withdraw from a nuclear pact that Tehran signed with world powers in 2015. An Israeli expert who talked to breaking defense on condition of anonymity said that unlike with ballistic missiles, it is impossible to predict the hit point of a hypersonic missile. That, he added, makes the interception of such missiles more complicated, requiring a mix of interceptors, some that Israel has and others under development. If it's real and aside from Hajizadeh's statement, there are no signs it is the weapon would prove a more advanced threat than the Sejal medium-range ballistic missile that is seen as Iran's first option to strike at Israel. Iran has claimed that the Sejal could reach Tel Aviv in less than seven minutes, if launched from the city of Natanz, a hypersonic missile would be able to hit much faster, potentially in the four-minute range. A Pentagon spokesman told Fox News that the Pentagon is well aware of the reporting, but claimed it remains skeptical. As always, we will refrain from disclosure of intelligence reporting and assessments on such sensitive topics the spokesman told Fox. We continue to closely monitor Iran's development and proliferation of advanced missiles and associated technology. Iranian military specialists and technicians have made significant progress in recent years in manufacturing a wide spectrum of indigenous weaponry, allowing the armed forces to be quite self-sufficient in the armament industry.
According to Talenberg, an Israeli defense analyst, since Iran already developed a ballistic missile that was declared as hypersonic, the Shahed Haj Qasim, with a declared re-entry speed of Mach 12, and already demonstrated skipping capabilities in several missiles re-entry vehicles, the most plausible assumption is that the new system will be a true hypersonic glide vehicle. The assessed hypothesis is that the new missile will have the shape like the known systems of China's DF-17 or North Korea's HGV, both hypersonic missiles, he told Breaking Defense. Israeli defense sources related to missile defense refuse to say whether there is solid evidence that North Korea or China sold Iran technology that would help develop a hypersonic missile. Inver says that an HGV is not a wonder weapon, and it could be intercepted. However, in the near future, it will pose significant challenges for active defenses, both in detection, tracking and kinetic encounter and interception. HGV systems challenge most missile defense because it's hard to detect and track due to their depressed trajectories. Unlike ballistic trajectory, this is an unpredicted flight path. Usually, high maneuverability during re-entry Inber explained. Hypersonic weapons would also likely carry a smaller payload than ballistic missiles, he noted. Israeli defense experts who are following the long-range missile program of Iran say that if the Iranians have really succeeded in developing an operational hypersonic missile, they may use the Houthis rebels, their proxy in Yemen, to launch these missiles to hit targets.